Hey guys, Nebris here, showing you another redstone invention of mine. This is a method of converting a pressure plate input into something more along the lines of a button input. Now, with a pressure plate, you stand on it, and it activates the stream of redstone, but it stays on. So if you keep standing on it, this power is still going to be on until you let go of it. Whereas with a button, it powers on for a brief second and then powers back off. Now, you might be asking why don't I just use a button? Well, here's why. I can throw items at a button all day and it's not going to activate it. But with a pressure plate, I can throw an item onto it and it'll activate it. Um, so, if I desire a button-like input, but I can only use a pressure plate, this is the system I need to give me the desired input. Now here's how it works. This uh, input stream is split into two different paths, path A and path B. Both of them eventually lead to this AND gate. Now path A goes directly to the AND gate and will get there immediately when I step on the button. Whereas path B goes through this delay and then to an inverter. Now Right now the inverter is powering half of the AND gate. So when I step on this, immediately this other half is going to get powered for a split second. But eventually the delay it this stream will get through its delay and then turn off the inverter, which will turn off the other side of the AND gate that was originally on. So this part, which will be on for a split second, will then turn back off once it gets past this delay. So as I step onto this thing, watch this uh, test torch here on top of the wool. It is going to blink on for a split second and then turn off once this stream gets through the delay. Watch. Now, this isn't as long. It isn't on for as long as a button keeps it on. One, two. Whereas this is only on for maybe half that amount of time. Um, all that is required to extend that is just to add another delay, uh, add a repeater block there, set the delay to max, and it'll give you however long of a pulse of energy you need to power this torch. Um, there are several applications for this, um, the most important of which is for counters. Um, if you've ever made a counting device, um, you know that you need something like this to prevent the thing from incrementing repeatedly if someone stands on the thing that activates the counter. Um, I plan on using this in conjunction with the uh, five minute redstone clock that I showed you earlier to create a giant Big Ben 24 or 12 hour clock essentially. Um, for that, I'm also going to need to develop a counter, and I will show you that on a later date. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and hey, maybe even subscribe. Thank you.